number three, the virtuous wife described in Proverbs 31. Style, prime time medical drama. He needs the care of a good wife. A good wife? Yes, the protocol is described in chapter 31 of this holistic health text. You must get up before dawn, cook your husband breakfast, and organize your day. Consider buying a field, and with the money that you put aside, plant a garden. You must be skilled in the craft of home and hearth, and diligent in home making. Of course, you'll make all your own clothes, and even design gowns, which you'll sell a dress shop along with the sweater that you <laughs> very important. Always greet tomorrow with a smile and always speak kindly. Above all else, keep everyone in your household busy and productive. You do all that, your husband's got a fighting chance. <laughs> Thank you, doctor. <laughs> what did the doctor say? He said, you're good to die. She would be wise to pray for a miracle of him. <laughs> and now, women of the word, numbers four and five, Mary and Martha of Bethany. Style. because the leftover lamb's wool can be crocheted into a decorative prayer shawl for Passover. <laughs> Romaine Parmesan croutons make for a tasty side salad, especially when combined with a little diced goat with all the fat boiled out, or as I like to call it, rendering unto Caesar. <laughs> Brother? <laughs> Consider theme decorations for your dinner party. As you can see, I've chosen wedding banquet for mine, with a festive canopy of artificial lilies, made entirely from varnished matzah and turtle dove feathers. <laughs> Perfection. When we come back, I'll show you how to fold your napkins into the shape of the Star of David. So stay with us. <laughs> Um, 
what I meant to say was, um, Jesus, I'm sure that your thoughts on flowers are profound. <laughs> but um, in this particular case, when there's so much to be done, I think you'll agree that we need to prioritize. But prioritize? Oh, well, yes, you should need to entertain my sister. In fact, I'd appreciate it if you would tell me to get up off her futon and help me out. <laughs> Oh, Martha, I, I can see you are working so hard to do something nice for me out here. Thank you. But, you know, you really don't have to make a big production out of it. I, I really just want to spend time with you and Mary. Really? Yeah. I tell you, why don't you see if you can you know, cut a little short today and come on back to the living room. We can sit down, relax, just, just talk, okay? Well, well, if you say so. I do. You know, you could tape a whole new segment. Like what? Oh, you know, like, want to spend more time with the Son of God? Now there's a quick and worry-free option. Yes? Martha's Easy Mac and Jesus. Oh, <laughs> Conclusion, from all examples, a great woman of God is not one thing. God might call you to display the endurance of Eve, or the leadership of Deborah, or the hard work of Martha and the wife of Proverbs. But whatever God calls you to, you must sit at his feet and listen for his voice. The one thing all great women of God have in common, they are all women of prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven. Yes. <coughs> what is it? Um, please, I'm praying. <laughs> oh. Our Father, who art in heaven. Hello. <laughs> I'm here. Uh, could you wait till I'm done? You called me. I did? <laughs> yes. You said, Our Father, who art in heaven. Oh. I was just reciting the Lord's Prayer. I was answering. <laughs> Go ahead, I'm listening. Okay. Uh, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. You really think so? Think what? That my name is hallowed. Hallowed? <laughs> yes, you know. Holy, do you respect my name? Um, yeah, yeah, I guess so. How about yesterday on your way to work, when you got behind that slow bus? Hey, I didn't hear what I said, it just kind of slipped out. How would you like it if everyone went around shouting, Oh, Susan, every time they hit their thumb with a hammer? <laughs> or got held up in traffic? Sorry. I forgive you. Um, look, this is going to take forever if you keep interrupting. <laughs> Would that be so bad? What? Talking with me forever. Um, I don't know. I never really thought about it. Well, do. It might happen. <laughs> Go ahead, keep going. Uh, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Whoa, are you sure you want all that? All what? My kingdom coming and my will being done. Um, actually, I kind of like the part, on earth as it is in heaven. I mean, you know, we could use a little more heaven around here. So, what are you doing about it? Me? You want my will done. Who did you expect to do it? Well, I thought it was your kingdom. <laughs> you, uh, you can't have a kingdom without subjects. No, I guess not. It's not really that hard. All you really have to do is love me.
with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind. Love your neighbor as yourself. Oh, brother. <laughs> Him, too. Great. Uh, but can we get on with it? Sure, don't let me stop you. I forgot where I was. Give us this oh, day. Great. Give us this day our daily bread. You could use a little less spread, actually. <laughs> No, no, not that kind of bread. What? What do you mean? I mean, you could use less of what you want and more of what you really need. All I asked for was a little bread. And today, the bread I'm giving you is a half hour of Bible study, a free evening spent with your family, and a $100 deduction from your checking account for the world hunger charity of your choice. <laughs> All that, just for me. Just for you. You really shouldn't have. <laughs> hey, I like to give you good things. Thanks. Come on, on with the rest of the prayer. Um, you know, this is dragging on a little long, so how about there's, we take a little short break? There's not that much more. Susan. I know, but I'd really rather stop. Susan. <coughs> forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. What about half? I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> well? On after everything she's done to me, you expect me to just forget about it? I don't know. How do you want your forgiveness? With or without forgetting? Come on, she treats me like that all the time, and you know she's not the least bit sorry. I mean, enough is enough. Whatever you say. Um, what do you mean, whatever I say? Well, it's up to you. Right now, I'm willing to forgive you for everything. As long as it's not a repeated offense, and you apologize first. <coughs> what? As you forgive, so you are forgiven. You said. Um. What do you think? Well, I guess I can try to forgive her. But what happens if I can't pull it off? I tell you what, you do your best, and I'll do mine. Okay. And don't worry, my best is pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Come on, just a little bit more. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hang on a second, isn't that kind of a strange thing to pray? I mean, you're not going to lead me into sin, are you? I don't know. You spend half your time asking me to. I do? You love being tempted. You're always hoping I'll arrange things so you'll be helpless in the face of passions beyond your control. Well, you know, maybe once in a while I would mind a little innocent excitement. I think if you can honestly ask me not to lead you into temptation, maybe that means you're halfway resolved to avoid it yourself. Got me again. Gosh, you know, every time I open my mouth, there's something else you want me to change. Sometimes you expect a little more out of your immediate family. Come on, time for the big finish. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Susan. Susan, do you know what would really give me glory? I'm afraid to ask. <laughs> just, just keep talking with me. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, I think I can manage that. Amen. Amen. Amen.